My current role is Professor of Clinical Microbiology, which involves the diagnosis, treatment and prevention of infectious diseases, both in the community and in hospitals. In terms of my own mentorship, there hasn't been a single strong mentor, but I've used a slightly different model where I've tried to surround myself by people who are willing and able to support me, both uh, overtly and in public, but also uh, uh, behind closed doors perhaps, suggesting me for uh, membership on panels and speaking at meetings and also for jobs. I've faced several challenges in my career. The first is really juggling life as a mother and a wife with my work. I have three children who are now aged 22, 22 and 16 and even though they need me less now, I still want to spend as much time with them as possible. Another challenge undoubtedly throughout my career has been working in a male dominated environment. Being asked to chair a committee or a, a, be on a panel which is male dominated when I was younger was very challenging and I would find myself quaking in my boots sometimes as I approached that task. Whilst I've moved on from that, I'm always mindful of the importance of equality and diversity and the fact that we still have a great deal to do. From my perspective, the greatest challenge to global health is education of everyone, in particularly women, and also access to universal contraception. For me, this 2018 meeting on women leaders in global health is an incredibly important and critical voice. But it's also important for us to bear in mind that we must get beyond meetings and talks and get to a path where we can take some action. In three words, why not you?